Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first ever Tardiflet Games brought to you by Steel River Gaming. My name's Nick, and Mitch is by my side for the color analytics. It is a pleasure to be next to you today. All right, today's mountain conditions, we're looking at a sunny summit on Mount Erebus. The snow depth is looking to be around 20 inches. We've had no new snowfall in the past 24 hours. Uh, we're looking at some wind every once in a while. We've been clocking winds at 20 miles an hour at the base of the jump. So it's going to be interesting to see how that affects our riders today. Yeah, we have a wicked jump here. You go down the valley at about 24 degrees, and then you kick off the jump at about 4 degrees. Riders will spend about 10 seconds in the air over 100 feet off the ground. Then they'll hit right down on the landing pad. Now, Mitch, we have been seeing in practice runs today. It is a little bit tricky off of this jump, as you can see here through the fly-through. There are tons of trees to the left and to the right of this landing site. So you really have to time this jump perfectly and place it perfectly or else you're going to be eating some bark. You definitely will be. It'll be a challenge for the riders, but we've got some good ones here for you today. We'll go down the list in order of their runs today. First up, we'll have Harbor from Toronto, Ontario, and he'll be sporting a brown jacket. Next up will be Sash from Sydney, Australia, wearing the green. Sheriff is from Dallas, Texas, and will be wearing an all pink uniform. Fourth will be Oakley from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He's wearing a blue and yellow jacket with some green on his pants. And finally, the fifth rider will be Hammer from Burlington, Ontario, wearing a full dark blue suit with some neon green piping. Let's get right to the action. Okay, up first is Harbor coming in with a huge quadruple rodeo 900 tail grab tweet. And he's gonna have no problem landing that first jump. Man, you can see from the first person camera right here, he's got those four spins in, gets the back hand to grab the board. And his score is going to be coming in at about 2,406. That is a wonderful first round jump. Okay, next up, I believe we have Sash flying down the mountain again. He's going to tuck. And again, he's going to land. Sash pulled off a quadruple rocket air 1440 for his first jump. Yeah, you can see from this angle, gets a nice hold on the nose end of the board and gets those four spins in, almost kicks out from him on the landing, but he's able to control his board. Those rotations are beautiful. And Sash, oh, it looks like Sash is going to jump into first place early on. 2448 for his first run. And now we move on to the Sheriff from Dallas. He's going to pop off of that jump at the perfect time. And again, another great landing from Sheriff. He's going to pull off a sextuple rodeo 1800 trail tweak. Yeah, as you can see, his, throughout that jump, he does change his hand position just a couple times, gives it that tweak. But from this follow cam, you can see he gets it on the nose, switches his hands a couple times, gets a weird tuck in there, and still sticks the landing. Wow, that, that rotation was just insane. Watch this. You can barely keep track of up, you know, what, what's up and what's down on the mountain. And that jump was going to pay off with, uh, wow, 2,824. And that is going to rocket Sheriff into first place without a doubt. All right, Oakley's run. He's going to have a late kick, and oh my, look at that air. Oh, he wipes out. Oh, no. Oh, man, look at that from the first person camera. You can hear him screaming a little bit. He just <laughs> eats it face first into the snow. I think we've got another look sponsored now, by GoPro, too. Now, that was difficult because... He, it looks like he ended his rotations and his grabs about 20 feet before he hit the snow and just, it looked like he had a ridiculous amount of air and he just, oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know, I've never seen a human body hit that hard. <laughs> he must have, he must have really hit. It, it is a miracle that he is still alive. Uh, hopefully he'll be good for his next two runs, but yeah, he... Look, he ends his jump so far up, but he was rotating so fast that he just he just couldn't end that jump. And because of that wipeout, he is going to clear the board with a zero for his first run. Okay, up now, the hammer. Coming in with speed. He's gonna kick off of the lip. And 
Well, that's looking like a quadruple rodeo spin. I don't exactly know what that is. But uh, we may have just seen the invention of a new trick there. Yeah, we don't quite know what he was going for. You can see he was amped up after the landing. Does a lot of weird stuff and still sticks to landing. A lot of people having trouble. They're almost sliding out from underneath them. It is a steep landing slope. That's going to put Hammer at 2,408. And let's take a look at the board here. And it looks like the Sheriff from Dallas, Texas is going to be sitting pretty up on first with 2,824, followed by Sash, Hammer, Harbor, and of course, Oakley with the wipeout and the null on the first run. Let's see if he can turn that around on the second. Yeah, the beauty of this competition is they're only taking the best score out of all three. So even if you mess up on two, you still have a chance at gold. All right, Harbor's second run. He's gonna kick off that lip at perfect angle. And he's gonna land a double cork 1980 Japan. And that looks like it's gonna put him around 2,320, uh, which is not a terrible second run. Uh, he's not going to beat his first score of the night with that one, but it still gives him insurance. Yeah, you can see all the spins wow. he puts into that trick, and then tucks it up almost along his backside right there. An interesting wow. grab, and a really solid landing. It spreads powder on both sides, and he's riding smooth. That is a professional right there. Just, just a wonderful run and beautiful form on that. And then look at this. You can see some of the snow flying right at the camera. <laughs> All right, Sash is coming up again. He's going to tuck in tight this time. And oh, Sash wipes out on his second run. Man, that's two riders down. That's, let's Look just see what, see what went wrong. He had a wonderful tuck and beautiful rotations. And just, oh, oh man, that's almost hard to watch as he, as he cracks his back off of the snow. These riders are getting so much air with so much speed huh. that Timing the rotation on these jumps is is so difficult today. All right, with Sash landing a big old goose egg for his second run, we're gonna move on to the Sheriff, who's going to land a quadruple rodeo 2160 nose grab sweep. That is just a wonderful trick and a mouthful to repeat. You just see the hand placement on the front of the board and the back. It's at a very interesting angle compared to the ground. He's able to stick that landing though, give him props. Yeah, and Sheriff is gonna pull that one out with a 2,298, which is not as high as his first run. But again, we still have one more round to see if he can top that first score. You also get an excellent view at his apparel right here. He's got the nice plaid jacket and the panda ears on top of his head instead of the helmet. Okay, moving on to Oakley. Let's see if he can better his score of zero on this run. And he's going to pull out a quadruple cork backflip. And it looked like he was playing that one safe. And then he's going to pull out a score of 2,298 for that run which will put him back into the competition. Okay, moving right along to Hammer's second run. A little late on the jump there, but he's going to make up for it. That's some big air. Oh! oh. Hammer takes it out <laughs> for the second round. What is up with this today? I don't know. He looked like he was really trying to take over that first overall spot on the scoreboard. He's already sitting in a decent position, but he's trying to go for that gold. Just puts too many spins in. Board catches an edge. You can just see him right there dragging all the way through the snow. Ends up on his face. Oh, yeah. That, that one looked like it hurt. And, and that's going to be a goose egg. That may hurt Hammer in the long run. But hopefully he can pull it out in his final run of the day. This, I, we can't emphasize this enough. This is a difficult jump. This is proving really a challenge for our competitors today. Yeah, we've had what? Three crashes and three 10 crashes jumps? already, right. That's, yeah, that's only 70% landing and this is a professional competition. This is unreal. Okay, let's take another look at the scoreboard. And it appears that Sheriff is still gonna be sitting on top with that first run score of 28-24. And 
yeah, I mean, what more can you say about round two other than it is really showing the difficulty of this of this course? Yeah, we've had some more riders crash. Round three will be interesting, though, because they will be pulling out some of their biggest moves to try and take over the lead from Sheriff. All right, moving right along with Harbor's third and final run of the day. Late tuck on that one and slow rotation, but it might just work. Uh, that's going to be looking like a quadruple front 1900 nose grab tweak. And you know what? Say what you will, but that was a clean run. Yeah, that was a clean run, and that was a mouthful of a trick right there. He added <laughs> so many different options into it. As you can see, he's doing a lot in midair right there. It actually freezes up a little bit. And then he sticks the landing quite solidly, gets a little hand in the snow. That was poetry in motion, and that is going to pay off because he is going to better his first run score. He's going to look at 2,638. That, that's not a bad final run. Yeah, that should get him right up around second place for right now, I believe, and that's, that's a good place to be sitting. All right, with some competition pinching on Sheriff's heels, we're going to move on to Sash's third and final. Again, clean and tidy, and that's going to be looking like a Switch 1800 truck driver. Another great run. Yeah, that's the first truck driver we've seen here today in the competition. You get another good look at his board, all right there with the autographs on it. Oh, is that a pretty board? That that and that is definitely one that I would love to add to my collection. And, oh, just clipping a tree! I didn't see that in the first run, but man, that that first person angle really shows just how close these trees are. Yeah, if you get too far to the left off of that jump, you're coming pretty close to some trees, and you got to cut right at the last second. He almost was too excited that he landed the jump, you can see there. Has to put both hands oh, wow. on the ground, but still stands up. And just kind of ends up close to the trees. Now that is not going to better his first round score, but he is still going to get 2,346, which is not a terrible second run. Okay, now moving on to the man in charge, Sheriff. He's going to pull out a quadruple rodeo 1440 nose grab. Uh, again, just, I mean, what more can you say? This man has been having the rides of his life today. Yeah, he's been pulling out all of the stops, landing all three of his jumps, I believe. Yeah, yeah, and this jump is going to pay off with only 1,688, but he doesn't need it because as far as we can see so far, we still have two competitors left, but Sheriff is still sitting pretty out in the lead. I mean, 200 points, almost 200 points is the differential between him and second place. All right, moving on to Flack's final run. He's going to be coming up with speed, looking to catch up to the competition in front of him. And he's going to land that clean. That was a quadruple rodeo 2160, a truck driver. So another truck driver, but only the second one of the night. Uh, doesn't appear to be the most popular style of, of trick today, but man, it, it, it's doing work. Yeah, the truck driver is a hard one to pull off and doesn't reward too many points. He gets all of those spins in. He actually comes in with one of the cleaner landings of the night. Still landing, still still ending his jumps faster and, and higher than anyone else in the competition today. Let's see if that will prove helpful for him. And it's looking like he's still going to be low on his score with 2,194. Not the best day for Oakley. No, he really couldn't crack those top three, but there's one more rider to go. Let's see if he can improve his position. Yes, the final rider of the day. Hammer's going to be pulling up. You can see that tuck. He, is, he wants that speed, man. And here he comes, jumping a little earlier than the lip. And that's going to be a very clean quadruple rodeo 1980 Indy Plus week. That's, that's not a bad run, and you can see that he liked that. Yeah, it's not going to improve his position that much, but he still is excited that he actually landed the jump this time, as he has already wrecked once today. Wanted to at least stick a second landing on the night. <laughs> that's going to put him at 2,336. So that looks like that wraps up the action for today with a shocking first round victory run from the Sheriff, Dallas, Texas, 
is going to pull it out with 2,824 points, followed by Harbor with 2,638, Sash with 2,448, Hammer with 2,408, and Oakley pulling up the rear with 2,298. I mean, what a wonderful day. We couldn't have asked for a better day of competition, Mitch. No, you really couldn't. They really put some big tricks down on those ramps, and all three of them are sitting on the podium right now. We found a nice little glacier for them to take a nice rest on, and as you can see, all three of them are just hanging out there, relaxing after a big day of competition. Well-deserved rest, Mitch. Well, thank you very much for joining me up in the booth, and thank you guys for tuning in to the first-ever Tardiflette Games brought to you by Steel River Gaming. Stay tuned to the channel as we're going to be bringing you Big Air Ski, coming to you soon. Thanks for watching.